G'day everyone, I'm here at the New York Academy of Sciences with Julie Nadell, who is the program manager of the Science Alliance. The Science Alliance runs all of our programming for graduate students, postdocs, undergrads, and early career scientists. Now, Julie and myself here at Psyche, we've teamed up together at the New York Academy of Sciences and Psyche on TYT Network. And we've teamed up for something really important. It's to help scientists communicate. And so, Julie, why did you want to team up on this idea? I think that there are so many scientists out there who are doing such amazing work, but seem to be somewhat apprehensive to step into the spotlight and actually talk about the amazing work that they're doing. And I also think that there's more out there than just saying, oh, you do make great work, go talk about it. There's strategies to best effectively communicate your work. There's ways to make sure that you're communicating it and people are understanding what you're saying. And we really wanted to hear from the experts who are already doing this so well, like yourself. Oh, thank you. Well, here at Psyche, we think that it's so important for scientists to be talking about why they're doing their work and why we can make good decisions if we know more about the world. So if that sounds like your bag and you're interested in that, you can come to the New York Academy of Sciences. It's in downtown New York on November the 30th. It's coming up just after Thanksgiving between six and eight, or if they're not in New York City, how can people check out the event? There's also a webinar and you can join into the event still from the webinar. We'll be taking tweet questions. You can join and still ask our panelists things and really still be engaged. So you can ask about what tactics people should use, why science communication is important, or get some examples of how it's gone well and maybe not so well. Um, now, last question for you, Julie. Who are your three favorite science communicators? Well, I'm a big fan of YouTube science communicators, so I think the two of my favorites would be Physics Girl, Diana Kerwin, and Ed Yong is one of my favorite science writers. And then I was just on a panel with Joe Hansen, um, who does It's Okay to Be Smart, and he is definitely one of my favorite science communicators, as he well as just being a nice guy. And hi to Joe, because he's recently had a baby. Yay, congratulations, Joe. And he posts the most beautiful photos on Instagram. Keep going, Joe. <laughs> Tell us about who we can see and talk to on the 30th of November. We have four really wonderful panelists coming for this event. We have Andrew Jewell from Columbia University, Sarah Schlesinger from the Rockefeller University, and Ray Wynn Grant from the American Museum of Natural History. And we also have a fourth panelist who's just the most lovely luminary, Jade Lovell. <laughs> um, and it'll be moderated by an MD-PhD student from the Albert Einstein College of Medicine, Dale Hodge. It's going to be a lot of fun. So if you're here in New York City, make sure you come down on the 30th of November to this gorgeous building in downtown, the New York Academy of Sciences is 7 World Trade. Um, you can register online at nyas <laughs> slash sci SA for Science Alliance, or you can go to our events page, or we'll probably drop the link somewhere, maybe. The link the link will be in the description, so you can check it out. There. That's good, because I don't know the link. <laughs> and if you're not in New York City, make sure you check it out live on the webcast, and I'm looking forward to, asking you, uh, to answering your questions. See you guys. Hope to see you there. Bye.